So I kind of decided to scrap the footage I had recorded. I got it saved somewhere. Somewhere. Of me fumble fucking around last night. So I kind of realized too little too late that I'd uh, reassembled this thing when I didn't need it reassembled. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to take the other head off at some point. Have a look at that good and tight. Oh, he's finally got it running. And figure out how to pressure clean these heads because they desperately need pressure cleaning. But anyways... Hey, that worked out perfectly first time. Nope, he's still having misfiring issues. Yeah, there's a bit of wobble to that. So, here's our exhaust valve. I'll measure this guy when I get it back in the house. According to my research, this guy, right here, should be a diameter of somewhere around 1.48 inches. Now these springs have an awful lot of spring tension to them, let me tell you. Oops. Ignore what I just said there. So it's an amazing thing how these things work. Here's a keeper. It's all held in under spring tension. Keeper sits in it like so. Sounds like he's breaking in a camshaft. Sits in it. You can see there's two grooves in it that sit right there at the top of the valve stem. Both of these, because you only have to, wedge together and form a wedge that is then pushed upon by the retainer, creating an inward clamping force and an outward clamping force at the same time, thus keeping the valve in check and the valve spring under tension. Ironically, intake's got a lighter spring on it, I noticed. No. Come on, how'd you come? Now, I really should clean this mess up. Woo! Grammy! The upside is the heads, other than being dirty, seem to be in pretty good shape. Now, if my guess is right, and these guys are double quench pad area, then I'm golden, which I really hope they are. Because that would make them similar to the 302 casting. Let's see how much wobbles in that. A little less. It's always good. Alright. Cap out, set these guys in. And again, simplest install. It's remarkable how incredibly simple these things are. Uniquely simple. So here's our intake, here's our exhaust. This, I think, might be a 189. This should be a 1.4. This should be a 178. But we'll see how it goes. So we're back here again inside the main fortification of the Empire of Dirt. And we got her. Carbon steel dial caliber.
Only the best Chineseium crap gets letters this big. Ooh, crusty. All things said, it's not that bad. So we zeroed her out, thus to ensure that we get an accurate reading. So, my information says that this exhaust valve should be a 1.48 inch valve, and this intake valve should be a 1.78 valve. Let's see if we got it right. Measure. Let's measure exhaust first. Let's see. Hate bumble fucking around. So, if I'm reading this right, and I hope I am, this thing should be a 1.615 valve, which doesn't sound right to me. I'm going to measure it again, because I don't believe that it's that big. So our second reading puts us at 1.614. What? That don't sound right. Don't believe it's that big. Now our intake should be about 1.78. Should. Alright, so let's check our reading. According to this, it's a 1.81 intake. I don't think that's right still. God, there's so much slop in that. Look at that action. That's just loose. I don't believe our valves are that big. One point eight eight one. Pretty sure I'm reading that right. It just doesn't make sense to me, guys. I gotta look this shit up. I gotta hit the gargler. So we're back again in the Empire Dirt. All my extensive measurements with this Chinesium grade crap points to this being a 1.615 exhaust valve. Which if that's the case, great. Probably not the case. Now if it's a 1.615 515 that makes more sense this I'm looking at right now on O'Reilly's site uh, you can't see it but this is my intake valve and according to the cheapest one I could buy from sealed power should be a diameter of 1.7800 inch diameter 
let's see if our intake's the correct size, because that's the one I'm probably going to be replacing sooner. And again, it's saying it's an oversized valve. I don't know what's going on here. Because if I'm reading this right, this is a 1.88 on the nose intake valve. And not a 1.78. Measure our exhaust again. Which again comes out to 1.6. Point one point five or six point or point six one five and our intake comes out to one point eight eight. Now, I don't know if this is just cylinder number one. I'm half tempted to go through every single cylinder in the entire engine now just because I don't believe that I got this lucky. Something else I'd like to notice. My intake valve, I'm not sure if it's because of the spring length, though I'd imagine it has to do, felt lighter. So I might swap that out for a heavier spring at some point. Depends on how things go. But I have been Rock the Box. You've been wonderful. This has been the Empire of Dirt. And I'll see you next time.